Hey guys, it's Mike from Backyard RC and we're about to get started on our covering series. We're going to do that on the fuselage of this Top Flight P51. Before we get started, if you haven't already, go hit that like and subscribe button. But our first part of the video here, guys, I'm going to show you the tools that you're going to actually need to cover an airplane. So the first thing you see I have here is my rolls of monocoat. There's black and silver on this airplane for the scheme I'm doing. You'll notice I have two straight edges. I like to use these to cut my covering. Um, I also use them to cut the covering once it's on the airplane if I'm trying to get a straight line. A nice tack cloth. Again, you've seen this in our prep series, but before we actually lay any covering on, I'm gonna go over all the areas again. This is probably one of the most important things here, guys. A nice hobby blade and a lot of fresh blades. As soon as you start to get dull, it's easy to rip the covering rather than cut a nice smooth line. So don't be shy to go through blades. I also have a bigger knife with a nice fresh blade in it that'll be used to cut covering. Underneath all of this, you see I have a cutting mat. That's a great idea or any cutting surface that you're gonna be able to cut your covering on. Also, a pair of scissors are going to come in handy. And let's get into our tools for actually sticking that covering down. You'll notice I have my big iron here, as well as a trim iron. I also have a heat gun with a nozzle on it. This is a very handy tool, not necessary. You can do all the work with an iron, but it is a lot harder and takes a lot more time. I don't have a sock on my iron, but what I actually do use is a bed sheet over it. So I'm gonna show you how I set this all up. This one's been used before, but I still have some good areas. So let's find a nice clean area here. And you'll notice I just kind of lay my iron in it. I'm gonna pull all the excess towards the back. Twist it to tighten it up. Get the wrinkles out of the surface on it, and you'll see I'm left with a nice covering surface. These couple wrinkles will go away too with time and heat on the iron. It's just because it was just in a different location. This bed sheet's so wrinkly. But now I have it, I have it twisted back towards the stem. I'm just gonna tape that on with some electrical tape, and that's my makeshift covering sock. we can get this tape started here. I'm just going to go around the base a couple times, snap that off, and I'm left with a nice covering sock that'll work well on this airplane. So you've seen everything here, guys, that I'm going to use for this covering video, so now we can get started. Stay tuned for part one of the covering series. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.